One thing you can do, and I actually use Character Animator more for this than probably anything else, is taking outside audio files, bringing them onto the timeline, and then having Character Animator analyze that audio and then lip sync your character to it. I actually end up just bringing in my mouths into Character Animator and nothing else, and then just animating out those mouths and then I'll export those out as image sequences and then import them into the animation software that I'm using, whether it's After Effects or Moho or whatever. And from there, I have perfectly synced mouths and it saves me a ton of time. So again, even if you're not really comfortable animating with the camera or dragging things with your mouse, this feature alone, I feel, makes Character Animator worth it. So the first thing you'll want to do is have a rig on your timeline that is ready for animation or at least for lip syncing. And in this case, we're just going to use the character we've been using. All I did was just clear all the animation we put in for him when we we're testing things out in the previous videos. So we can come over here to the project panel and we can double click on it or use command I or control I to import an audio file. And you'll have this in your exercise files. We're just going to find it and then choose import. So you'll see it brings it in differently. It doesn't bring it in as a puppet or scene. It actually recognizes it as audio. And from here, we can just drag and drop this down onto the timeline. And you can see we have this audio sample set up and it looks just like it did when we actually recorded audio from our microphone to the software itself. But what we can do now is click once on the puppet. Now go up to your file menu, locate timeline, and you'll see we have an option called compute lip sync from scene audio. So whatever audio file you have on scene, it's going to be computed. So let's go ahead and click that. Now, if you get this error, that's because I forgot to arm my puppet for lip sync. So that's the other thing. Make sure you have your puppet set to lip sync before this can work. Now we can come up here and do this again. So it will take a moment depending on how long the audio is and how detailed everything is. But you can see here it computed the audio and we now have Vizemes right on the timeline. So let's go ahead and play this out and see what it does. Hi guys, my name is Chad Trofgerben and you are watching how to learn Character Animator. Again, it does a fantastic job. The good thing about this is, let's say it doesn't do the most accurate job. Maybe there's some parts that are, you know, not quite right. You can always come down here as I showed you before and just go in and modify those visims and get it as accurate as you need it. So again, a really neat and cool feature. I use this feature the most when it comes to Character Animator, and I highly recommend you check it out. Even if you are using other software and you really have no intention to use this other than for lip syncing, I find it to be well worth it.